Right, hi there. So this is just going to be a quick update video. Uh, I've been pretty busy lately. I was hoping to upload some videos this month, but I haven't been able to. And also been busy uh, 3D printing. As you can see, there's um, all those 3D printed parts there. They took almost uh, 150 hours to print. And these are all for just one project. Uh, so I've got like a couple of... Uh, CNC routers. I have this small one here which I got from banggood.com which has been a really good little router. I usually do like to make little uh, key rings on there. And then also I have this other CNC router over here. This is the 3040 CNC machine. A lot of people don't like these but they're actually a really good sturdy machine for the money. I actually didn't pay very much for this because it was a uh, seller return and it was being sold on eBay for it and I got it for a ridiculously low price and then f repaired it and that has been working really nice and that's really good for doing small signs on there and I do make quite a few small signs on that and I really wanted to get a larger CNC machine but uh, if you look at the prices of them I mean something like an X carve is over a thousand pounds <clears throat> and then if you want to get something uh, say which is a bit more like industrial I mean you could be talking up to 3000 for just like a small CNC machine um, and I don't really have that type of money and even if I did have that type of money I don't think I'd spend it on a CNC machine I can think of uh, much more uh, fun things to spend that type of money on I've been looking at this project for quite some time actually but I haven't got around to printing it basically because uh, well this is the CNC machine here it's called the mostly printed CNC and as you can probably tell from the title it's a mostly printed CNC machine and since I've got a few 3D printers I can pretty easily print it off uh, you can also actually buy the parts as well um, on the website uh, that the person who designed this, his website, you can actually buy all the parts required and you only basically need to supply the steel 25mm tubes. And uh, I just wanted to say as well, uh, this, fil this green filament here is what Raymond Earl sent me for Christmas. So yeah, I thought I'd use it for something worthwhile and hopefully this will be a worthwhile project to put it to so thanks for that Raymond but yeah uh, it works all on these 25 millimeter steel tubes uh, and also uses a lot of skateboard bearings so it can be made reasonably cheaply or at a reasonable price for its actual size and because it's using these rails obviously you can make it as big or as small as you want to so it, it's supposed to use uh, electrical conduit now in the UK electrical conduit I found out is actually quite expensive uh, in the local store uh, you get six sections three meters long and they want over £130 for it and that's what put me off originally building this project because I didn't want to spend £130 on a 3D printed CNC machine and then it's not going to be as good as I hoped and I'm basically going to scrap it you know but I have actually heard good things about this 3D um, this uh, CNC router and there's some really good videos on YouTube which shows you, shows you what this machine is actually capable of. I'll put a link in the description to uh, one or two of them, uh, plus the actual um, Thingiverse page where you can actually 3D print these parts. So what I come up with, I've been looking for a while, you know, something that's cheap, which I can use other than steel conduit. So what I come up with is you buy a box of these chrome plated tubes here which are 
wardrobe rails what you would hang your uh, and they are 25 millimeters in diameter and you get five of those i've actually got another box on order because i need six and it was actually cheaper to buy a whole box off the internet than it was to go to my local diy store and buy an individual one um, yeah it's basically one rail was like over half the price of a box of five so it's pretty ridiculous but there you go Yep, so this is basically how it works. Um, as you can see here, here are the skate bearings. Now these skate bearings are really cheap ones from China, but I've used them before in a lot of pro projects and you do get, I mean, out of like two or three packs, you might get a couple which are a bit iffy and the racers have got like little like notches in where they haven't been ground properly or whatever. We might have some swarf in there and that or they might not turn very smoothly but usually they're pretty decent and in this kind of application these aren't going to be spinning around at say like 4000 rpm or anything they're just going to be sliding backwards and forwards on a rail on a CNC machine and since they're so cheap they're going to be cheap to replace so I brought 60 of these um, I think they were one pounds 70 for 10 and I got 60 of them I think that's what they were anyway uh, but yeah they're pretty cheap so you know uh, also on these stepper motors here I actually already um, had these so I didn't have to purchase them from other projects which I was building in the past and also the I've got a Arduino Uno there with a proto near shield on it and then there's the stepper drivers there and that's what I'm going to be using to control it and then basically it's just uh, this uh, GT2 belt move the um, axes backwards and forwards up and down and uh, yeah so I'm going to be putting this together in the next few days I've just got a couple more bits to print off I've got to print a spindle mount off for my uh, Makita style router and that's pretty much it oh and also waiting on a lot of nuts and bolts okay so please give this video a thumbs up also share it if you can and uh, also subscribe be much appreciated if you do and then hopefully you'll be able to see me uh, build this project in the up and coming videos so i'd just like to say thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye